Hey, Band of Pride. Um, I wanted to give a short video update um, after we finished the first week of having kids on campus since March. And so I uh, kind of talked about what went well, what didn't go well, and things to look for next week as we bring even more kids on campus. So uh, first, Hornline, um, I have posted um, guidelines for next week for you. Um, and I put changes in red and just read that Facebook and band post you'll it'll make sense shoot me a question um if something doesn't make sense or if you you're unsure of something so we should be good to go with that um hornline kids starting to ask questions guys the first day you're on campus next week will be a lot of getting equipment out and getting you a warm-up packet so we'll be using the same warm-up packet we've used um in the past uh you'll get a new copy of that um i'm currently running the copy machines ragged trying to get all that ready for monday um but you'll get a packet. So just make sure you guys have like your mask, your water bottle, a binder, things like that. Um, and so read those documents that I posted and that'll help you with that. Um, Garden Percussion did great this week. Everything went really smoothly um, from a COVID standpoint. Some of the things we need to look out for next week, uh, guys, is downtime. So we've discovered that we're great at social distancing when we're busy and mask protocols were followed. Everyone was really, really cool about that. Just when we go to water breaks and things like that, just be aware of it. It was like, hey, we're gonna social distance, but I'm gonna put my water jug six inches from your water jug and things like that. So uh, just be careful with that. Um, we will be outside Elkhorn Line ne next week all day. So just be prepared for that. Um, and so if you you know, have a folding stand, bring it. If you have paper, like uh, clothes pins or rubber bands, stuff like that, because we will be outside playing. Um, so next week, Mr. Barron will be teaching, I think it's pod, two no let me, let me start over so it's mr disney will be teaching pods one and four okay caravans one and four on monday and tuesday and then mr baron will be teaching pods two caravans two and five and then i'll be teaching caravans three and six each day okay and so um mr disney will be one and four baron two and five mr little three and six um, so, and your staff member won't change next week. So you're on campus two days. Uh, I'm getting a lot of questions about what happens next and what happens on uh, the August 3rd and what happens once school starts. Guys, I have to be completely honest and transparent. I don't know. <laughs> so um, KHSA, okay, the Athletic Association, they meet on Tuesday and they are supposed to set the guidance for August at that point. Now, on the guard page, I think someone said like, when are we gonna know more in a week out? Guys, I this is not sustainable the way we're doing it. Uh, I understand that. I understand that, you know, a lot of kids in the band have jobs and parents have jobs and, and this fluidity just is not something we can do long-term. Um, so I'm really hoping and, and, and uh, <laughs> the staff is hoping that KHSA will set guidance on Tuesday for at least the, the month of August. I, I don't expect them to set guidance all the way through the fall, but we're hoping that we go more than two weeks at a time. Um, now, I will say that if you're paying attention to the, the messages coming out of the governor's office, they, they are trending the opposite direction of what we would want them to trend, okay? And so I don't know what August 3rd is gonna hold yet. Now, I do know, or we're starting to figure out more and more of what the school day is gonna look like. Okay, so I'll post a couple updates um, over, over the next week about that. I posted some a couple questions that I've been getting a lot. Um, I posted those answers yesterday about full virtual versus hybrid and what that does to band. Um, but in terms of what band's gonna look like, actually look like during the school day, we don't know yet at all. Um, so we're waiting on some guidance. I will say that the band has put together um, like a preliminary um, guide list, like a set of instructions that we would follow if we were allowed to play during the school day and what that would look like. And, and we're trying to be proactive with that and kind of set the narrative. And so when the school district and the school board does get to that, and they will, and they start to discuss those things, we have submitted a document that they can at least reference that is, um, that was grounded in CDC guidelines, KMEA guidelines, and um, NAFME guidelines, okay? And so um, there are governing bodies out there that are setting 
protocols for that. And so we put together a document that kind of put all those protocols together uh, and submitted that to Mr. Ritter here at the high school. So when the time comes to discuss what band looks like during the school day, there is a document um, that they can reference for them, okay? And so um, we're working each day. Mr. Morado's working his tail off. Um, you know, with percussion and, and Justin's working his tail off with guard and all the staff has been just doing an outstanding job with those units. And so we're excited to get horn line started. Um, it's going to be challenging and different. Okay. And there's been some kids that have, have opted out and, and guys, I, I kept my word. I'm not going to twist your arm to do marching band. Um, horn line, I'll say like the caravans, I don't know how many of those kids are going to show up Monday and Tuesday. I really don't, you know, it, it the, the shutdown back in March really hurt our March band recruitment. And so there's kids' names on there that probably will never show up. And then there's kids that aren't on there that I'll get a phone call on Monday saying, hey, I want to do March Band. So it's really fluid. Um, we'll get through it together. It's going to be exciting. We're hoping to have a show uh, announcement for you guys early next week. Um, we're working with Alex Thody, our arranger, and um, some designers and things that are, are working on these shortened shows. And we're, we, we think we have one. Um, we think we have one that's doable and, and, and applicable and fun and and so but once all that's finalized um uh, i'll send that out to you guys and but most most importantly i just can't wait to see you i was so excited to see guard kids and percussion kids this week and, and they were great and they were excited to be here in Hornline. i hope you have the same enthusiasm uh next week and just know that i miss you and i can't wait to see you we'll give an elbow or something like that and i'll wear my cool band of pride mask Woo! and um, we'll make music together. All right, guys, so I'll see you soon. Uh, enjoy this weekend, and be ready to rock and roll on Monday. All right, guys, take care.